School shootings have become a disturbing part of the American landscape, leaving us wondering what we can do to stem the tide of violence. Well, there's a new play that addresses the many issues around school shooting. Sharon Woolridge uh, Dennis is here, and she is the director of the play with actor Quincy Irick. So welcome to Lifestyles. Thank you. Thank you. This is a, a tough subject. It is a tough subject. It's a, it's a, a tough play. It's a powerful play. Mm -hmm. It was um, interesting that the playwright wrote this when he was concerned about his own children because there were so many school shootings and he wrote the play to help defray that turns out the first production was two weeks before columbine that's a pretty uh, sobering idea isn't, isn't it, it? and yes. now here saturday is the 20th anniversary of columbine so we're here to keep the conversation going. Mm -hmm. Well, and there's, that's a, an interesting piece of this particular production, and that's what theater does, is it right. does create a conversation. So, Quincy, tell us about your role. Uh, so I play Josh. Um, he is, like, I guess, for lack of a better word, he's the shooter mm -hmm. uh, in this play. And um, we see throughout the play kind of how, like, troubled he is, and we kind of get to see what kind of led up to the events that kind of tipped him over the edge to commit this uh, completely unjustifiable act, but you kind of get a sense for what's going through his mind. Well, that's, it, it has to be an interesting challenge for you oh, as gosh. a young person. What did, this, what did this mean to you? What did this do for you? Um, it's definitely, I've, because whenever the, um, I don't remember the name of the movement, but it was, whenever, it was right after the Parkland shootings. Mm -hmm. Um, we had done like that national walkout thing that was yes. going on. Right. We organized that at my school as well, and we did that. So this has always been like a really uh, important subject for me. And so whenever I saw that there was an opportunity to kind of raise awareness in a vein that I knew really well, theater, um, I really jumped at the opportunity to be able to bring this important story and show people um, like the truth. Did you gain more? sympathy or just more understanding of how that mind works? Um, I wouldn't say necessarily sympathy just because of like it's one of those things where you can't really like it's not justified in right. any vein right but I definitely understand more of what's going on um, like you said more understanding than sympathy though. Can you look into the mind of somebody like that that's that's what great theater does. Right. Now, Sharon this is an interesting project because there's gonna be a conversation after the show. There is. Um, he was as he was saying you know and you were asking him about do you understand better that's what we're aiming for is to get people to understand better not saying these things happen because of any one particular reason but just to put it out there and have people talk about it and think about it and after the show's over to stay and talk to us about mm -hmm. how it impacted on them and, and what they think maybe can be done or how it may have changed their thinking and so that we could, uh, d trying to get a better concept of what actually happens so that maybe something can happen to make it better. Well, and I know that you had shared some comments on your, uh, the paper that you turned in about how students are responding to it, to say, I, I had no idea or I changed my yeah, perspective. The, the playwright has, uh, as I said, the, the play was written two decades ago, and he said that over the last two decades, he has gotten over 100 messages from young people who said, I have a list, I have a gun, I saw the play, and I saw it help instead. Wow. Yeah. Well, let our audience know when the show will go up and where. The show is April 26th, 27th, and 28th um, at 321 Studio at 321 Congress in Evansville. Near the mall. Near the mall. Uh, the Friday and Saturday shows will be at 7.30, and the Sunday show is at 2 o'clock. I'll be really interested to see the results and, and talk to you again about how this goes. Thank you for really... Uh, facing this challenge and, and bringing some an opportunity to grow and learn. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate Break it. Break a leg, Quincy. Thank you so much. We'll be back with more Local Lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.